Fuck Obama, he's an asshole. Fuck Obama. Fuck Obama. Fuck Obama. You like Obama? Fuck Obama. Fuck him. White power? Fuck the niggers. I don't know who he is. Who's Benjamin Yahoo? You fucking in Israel, you mother. Stop it. What do you have to say to the Iranian people? The Iranian are fucking asshole. I hate them all. And they can go and fuck themselves. What do you have to say to the Iranian people? Um, I think uh, they should, um, I don't know, I don't know. I don't hate any Iranian. You know, come on, they are to say it. I hate them. I don't like them. You hate them? Are you from England? Israel. From uh, America. America. America, it's Obama. What do you think about Obama? Obama, it's uh, a cushy. It's what? It's a cushy. What's that mean? <laughs> yeah, black, no, black, black nigger. Negro. Black, what did you say? I'm a uh, Gizan. You know what is Gizan? No, no, no. What does it mean? Gizan, it's like a... Uh, Gizan, what is Gizan? Like a person that uh, don't like uh, people like us. Be different in the color of skin. Oh, like a dark person. Yeah, well, yeah. you have dark skin. But I'm not a uh, Muslim. I'm Obama. Jewish. Obama's a Muslim. Yes, yes. How do you know he's a Muslim? Obama is a Nazi. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. How do, how do you I, so Obama's a, why do you say Obama's a Nazi? Obama is not a Nazi. He's a... We think that Obama is not a uh, love Jewish. He doesn't like Jews. No. Why not? Because uh, he's Muslim. Are you Jewish? Ken. Yes. Uh, where from? Where from? It's got. It's not gonna be in the CNN. There are uh, ruins from the Roman period on campus. No sign of the three Palestinian villages that were destroyed 61 years ago in order to make space for the campus. Uh, in fact, there are no ruins at all on campus. And some students uh, could face criminal penalties for engaging in public discussions of those villages or the, uh, what the Palestinians call the Nakba. Easy to be proud. They want to erase us. They, they want to erase minorities in these countries. They want to erase something that's called the Nakba Day because this day they, they consider it a day of independence. This is a day for celebrations in the whole country and they can't understand that this day, the day of their celebration, was the day of other people's sorrow and destruction. And this hurts them. We get used to it, the, the treatment and the fact that whenever you go to the bus station, they need to check you and to see your ID, not just like every other, uh, uh, anyone else. Like, if they see me the way I am without hair, they may think I'm a Jew. Then they won't ask me anything like in the mall. But whenever we go together to Israeli, they ask her for ID. They don't ask me. And they all don't... come in and say, let's, why can't we all just get along, you know, like Martin Luther King said. And like, they haven't done nothing for this country. They all been in jail. They all, all of them here, they all been in jail. And like, they didn't go to the army. They didn't serve the country. And now, they all like here with pride. Do you think they're traitors? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And this is what they want. They want to just. Uh, they, they want reasons to come uh, and. Uh, throw you in prison and uh, terrorize you and uh, 
make you feel that you are not even uh, allowed to talk in this country. And uh, you think that the, the Arabs in Israel should leave? Yes. They need country. They need country. Go to Gaza. The, pal go. the Palestinian students here at Tel Aviv University, they should leave. Yes, yes. They, the Palestinians, they're not Israelis. They're not Israelis. And this country is for Israelis. I don't brainwash. I know, I know. I know. You see, I speak Arab. I know their, their mentalities. I know their mentality. Yes. They don't want us. They don't want us. Just it's in Tel Aviv, like a bit softer, like the people are less hard with this stuff. But I think that it is, uh, we, feel, uh, we feel like the discrimination on daily basis. I think that we do. It's just that we're getting used to it. I will summarize it in one uh, sentence. I think that no, uh, no uh, Arab country that are uh, surrounding us can give them the same uh, quality of life that we give, give them. And I think that they need to appreciate it more. Than they are. Eagle. Sorry. Yeah, but you can see uh, Sweden, for example, what's happened there, and they are like the first country in uh, freedom of speech, and they have like the biggest problem ever with the Muslims. And I'm objective again, I'm not saying that. But if you want to keep democracy, you can't let people to uh, protest against the independence of the country. So, so we are starting it with the with saying uh, uh, freedom of speech, and where does it end when they kill? That's how we. That's how, that's how we in Israel we talk. Okay. We we talk. Exactly.